Hi, can I get a large Zelda burger? With, uh, extra Octorok sauce? And can I get a... Can I get a six-piece Triforce nugget? Extra crispy? Thank you! Fanboys. In fanboy culture, I'm not a fan of it. I think it's... I think it's pathetic, a cancer on our society, and frankly, just cringe, bro. Unless... We're talking about Zelda. I admit it, I'm a Zelda fanboy. Or just Nintendo in general, I mean. However, this series in particular is the only one where I haven't missed out on a single game. You know, the, the real ones. That is, I thought, but it just hit me out of the blue. It's the Minish Cap for the Game Boy Advance. I do remember playing it a little bit when it came out, but I never got very far and definitely never finished it. Well, today that changes. That's right, on everyone's favorite, the Game Boy Advance. We're reliving it, dude. The Game Boy Advance. We're blowing this baby up. It's gonna be incredible. It's gonna be, I'm, I'm so hyped, I, I cannot wait. I can barely contain myself, honestly. And to join along, I enlisted the help of my good friend and resident video game expert, Cole Knapp. So he's gonna play with me and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a dang old hoot. So let's fire up this GBA. And start swinging. Cole, are you there? Yeah, it's a little windy up here, but I think I can make do. Oh, it should go. be okay. It should be fine. Oh, that's beautiful. There it is. Here it is. Um, okay, yeah, so we gotta, we gotta name, name our guy. Um, there's already a name right here, Stu. Stu. I'll go Stu. Oh yeah, you're right. It's just there. It's <laughs> just Stu. Um, nah. S uh, so soy. Oh yeah, soy. Soy. Soy boy. How about <laughs> that? Perfect. I love soy boy. Don't touch the game pack. Yeah, you don't want this corrupting. <laughs> Look at that little soy boy. Alright, you ready to start? Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. We've never played this game before. <laughs> oh no, the intro. Oh, are we in church now? It's like Wind Waker, the super long ass intro thing. Oh yeah, that you cannot skip. <laughs> That's the worst. Dude, I do like these stained glass windows. Yeah, they're pretty cool. And pretty nice, actually. I feel like I need to get on my knees and start praying. <laughs> Link's so, hair is so long. Yeah, dude, his hair is flowing. <laughs> wow. So, okay. Tell me your history with this game, because I played it, I think, once back, like, literally in 2005 when it was still new. But I never actually owned it. I only, like, borrowed it from a friend. I think. Do you remember playing this game or? Yeah, I played it on a, I remember a Game Boy um, Advance SP was the first time I played it. And I I didn't have it though too, but I did play it. And what and did I you was think like, of it? Oh, this is, I thought it was cool. Like I was like, I really wanted it. And for some reason I just, I, I played it on an emulator like not that many years after that. 
So Dude, don't it was. That. <laughs> it's illegal. We would use emulators uh, here. <laughs> but I, I like this game. I thought it was, I thought it was fun. I and I like really like the art, especially at the time. Yeah, that's the thing that like I really wanted to go back to this because the art is so cool. Yeah, it's nice. Like it's just good pixel art. And it, I don't know. It looks good. It is like a little bit. Uh, it's like definitely meant for smaller screens. Like it doesn't look amazing blown up, but yeah. it's still like it still has like a really nice like style to it. Yeah, completely. Okay, soy boy is just sleeping in, of course. Oh boy, time to get up. It's, oh, he is a little soy boy. He has no iron in his blood. He's all sleepy all the time. <laughs> there he doesn't he is. eat anything. That's right. <laughs> for her hearts. I like this little um, his little ponytail too. Oh, yeah. That's neat. You don't really see that often. Yeah, his hair is like... I can't even... I guess his hair was long in The Wind Waker, but it wasn't like messy like this. No, it definitely didn't have like a little man bun like this. <laughs> Interesting. A little propeller coming out of his head. <laughs> is that an ability? Can you like fly away with that thing? <laughs> He's like a Deku scrub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll put an image on screen of a Deku scrub so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so I don't even need to read this. I know that I'm supposed to take a sword like in a town or something because that's always how these go. So in this, I don't know the intro, like the festival intro. This is the Chrono Trigger intro. Yeah, this Literally is really like, what it is. Definitely ripping off Chrono Trigger. Just go to the festival. Yep. All these Chrono Trigger always... is annoying though in the festival. The first time you do it. You're just like, what do I do? Like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I like these uh, cloud or uh, this mist effects happening. Yeah, screen. I like Those that too. That's neat. That's a nice effect. They really it adds a little something, you know. It's it's the little details. And I like a parallax background, but just like in the foreground, which is cool. I don't know what the f you just said. Soy boy. Soy boy. Let's look around. So I'm assuming I just have to talk to all these people. Oh. I don't every single time I can't remember. <laughs> this is a really cool looking town. It is cool. Festival. Is that is it Beetle? Yeah, he's... He, he looks, looks so strange. He looks really weird. Like, is he, is he just screaming or is that his nose? Yeah, I feel like that's his nose, but it's like makes him. He looks like Minecraft Steve. He does. What the hell? <laughs> they really butchered that. That's wow. Probably not fair to say, but I. It, it'd be so hard <laughs> to make Beetle and pixel art. That yeah, it's like he's such a weird character. He is, yeah. So yeah, this is definitely like going for the Wind Waker, right? Yeah, definitely. Like the, it, it has like a lot of the same characters in it. Yeah. From Outset Island, which is, like, kind of weird. kind of wish they did their own thing, but at the same time, it's uh, it's cool to see those characters in this art style. Yeah, and it really works for what it is. And, like, isn't Ocarina of Time really just, like, a link to the past in 3D? You know what? It really kind of is when you think about it. Whoa. Oh, dude, I won. Wow, she's jiggle physics. <laughs> Dude, this game's advanced. <laughs> oh my god, that animation. Mm. Heart-shaped stone. That's what you want. That is what I want. Oh, Magnificent gem and a teeny, teeny tiny, tiny shield for a teeny tiny boy. <laughs> How old is Link supposed to be in this? I don't know. I was wondering that too. Didn't they say that he's like 10 in Wind Waker or something? Yeah, he's like... It's like something dumb where you're just like, how does that even make sense? <laughs> like, like this guy's just like fresh out of his diapers. Oh, he's 16 in The Wind Waker. 16? Let's see how, how old is he in The Minish Cap. Yeah. He's 17 in The Minish Cap. What? This is He's 17? He's 14 in Phantom Hourglass. What? Which makes no sense because isn't Phantom Hourglass after Wind Waker? 
It's yeah, supposed it's, to it's be. the direct sequel. Yeah, this is... Google is Dude, not... Dude, this is, this is fake news. Okay, I'm going to the Giant Bomb Wiki. Maybe it's on there. I feel like they would be more accurate. Let's go, soy boy. Okay. Doesn't have it, I don't think. I guess oh, it's not man. really that relevant. I mean, he looks like a little rug rat. He does. He's like Tommy Pickles with his screwdriver. Let's That's see. a sword. Oh, look at this kid. Oh, it's the the uh, the snot bubble kid from Wind Waker. Yeah. There's another one. You know how the Pecori only show themselves if you're being good. What's wrong with this kid? <laughs> yeah, the Pecori. Those are the little, like, gnome guys in this game. Yeah. That I remember. Not because I never That's... played this. <laughs> the music in this game is pretty good. The music's cool. I like, I like these, these Deku scrubs. Ooh, it's a business I, scrub. Business. The worst traveling merchant. <laughs> in like yeah. all games, probably. The worst. Like, they're essentially merchants. So, like, out of all the merchants in video games, like, business scrubs have to be some of the worst. Oh, yeah. They're, like, I don't know how they're just not in debt all the time. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. I mean... Do I, even need to, do I even need to say anything else? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, go, place back, business. go back to your cave, bro. He just disappears. He's gone. That nut hurt. Tell me about it. <laughs> okay, here's the castle. These guys. These little knights. Hey, can you talk to me? Sword for the award ceremony. You should take that to Mr. Potho. It's in the front of the castle. Okay. Are you Mr. Potho? It's him. It's Potho. He accepts Potho. the blade. I'll see you. I'll <laughs> see you. Okay. So it's ceremony time. Ooh. Dude, that sword is glowing. Oh my god, it's the king. This is the king of red lions. What is he? Does he call himself that in this? I don't think he does, does he? I don't think so. I think he's just the king. King. But he looks exactly the same. And that'd be cool if they made a Wind Waker for GBA. Dude. Instead of that Phantom Hourglass bullshit. Yeah. I guess they did, in a way, make one. They tried to, but it was um the uh like the stylus touch gimmick really honestly ruined it for me. I didn't I actually liked it. I bet you if I played it now I would despise it, but I remember being like a stupid kid and having a lot of fun playing that game. But I only I found it like annoying having to go back to the middle temple every single time. Yeah. It's, it's kind of it annoying. doesn't it doesn't hold up. Which is too bad. Holy yeah. shit, look at this. This is pretty crazy. This is intense. This is kind of intense. For this little soy boy. He's scared. So this is Vatty? Yeah, Vatty, I guess. Yeah. God. You know what's funny? I actually played more of uh, the Four Swords. Oh my god, she turned to stone. <laughs> That's scary, dude. But yeah. Stone. It's <laughs> stone. I actually played more uh, Four Swords when it came out. I I have played it before, but I not enough. I need to like I really have always wanted to play that game just to see. It's pretty neat actually. Like it's um obviously, you know, it's a multiplayer Zelda. Um, which is cool. Oh god, he's sleeping again. Always sleeping. Remember sleeping. I remember a place where we need to go to that we almost forgot last time and took us forever. Oh, what is it? It's that when you 
before you go to the rock mountain, you have to go to that scrub. Right, oh, like to the bottom. It's like yeah. at the left side of the, outside the town. Mm. Gives you the bottle, remember? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I yeah. remember we walked around forever trying to figure <laughs> that out. Yeah, so I, we might as well say we, we didn't play the beginning of this before. Um, but uh, something, you know, it got lost to time. We won't talk about <laughs> it. <laughs> Things happen. Yeah, you know, but honestly, I think uh, I played through the, the first dungeon from back in the day, so. You know, we, yeah, yeah, you know, it's nothing, nothing too special, but, um. That, that first dungeon is, uh, the dungeons in this game overall are not the greatest, but it's still, yeah. like, this game is just charming, though. It's so charming, dude. It's hard not to like it. <laughs> By the way, I like how Zelda is just, like, here chilling, just in stone. <laughs> when you put her in, like, a special room or something. Like, like she's... Like, Literally just off to the Adam. side, like you wouldn't keep her like away from people or put her in like a chest. <laughs> Why is she just there? <laughs> oh my god! Dang. that's weird. Why is he just walking? They just walk when they talk. Yeah, just walking in place like they're on a treadmill. That is kind of weird. Like, why wouldn't they just make like an idol? animation or something yeah just like kind of you know like either like a breathing animation or something this is why you have to play these games and see how they're made because when you make your own stuff you're like oh like nintendo didn't even they just like use the first their walking animation yeah yeah exactly it works though i guess it works like it's it gets the job done you get the the sense of movement and there's probably a reason why they did it this way. I'm sure they probably had something and it just looked weird or something. Maybe. Or they just didn't know what else to do. That too. That could be. Sometimes it can be easy. It's just like, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know.